I have recently bought a mortar and in my humble opinion, it is one of the best investments a home cook can do. It has elevated my receipts and flavors beyond I could imagine. And today I bring you an easy but amazing spice blend prepared with it and a perfect receipt to use it. Russell Hanuk Chicken. When we think about the Mediterranean gastronomy, the first countries that come to mind are usually Italy, Greece or Spain. But that's not fair. The Mediterranean kitchen is way richer than that. Countries from the north of Africa or from the Middle East also contribute with different ingredients, flavors and techniques. The spice mix we're going to prepare today is a good example of that. Ras al Hanout is a Moroccan spice mix which literally means the head of the store, referring to the best mixture of spices that the merchant can offer. It is very representative of Morocco's history itself, because many of the spices used in it are not original from this country, but were instead brought to it by the different cultures that have passed through the land, reflecting the country's condition as gate between Africa and Europe. Talking about a single blend is an error, because in each region, or even within the same city market, each merchant prepares it on its own way. The most usual spices are normally black pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, paprika, cumin and cardamom. But the mix can be made of up to 20 or 30 spices and herbs. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Russell Hanout's applications are almost as numerous as its ingredients. They are traditionally used to season lamb and chicken tagines, which are the dishes named after the ceramic recipients in which they are cooked. They are also used to season the broth for the couscous, and finally, they are also used to marinate meats and fishes which are then grilled. This last use is actually the one we're gonna follow today. To marinate some chicken with Russell Hanout overnight and cook it along with a nice rice and vegetable garnish. Let's do this! We will start with our spice blend. For our grounded ones we have prepared one spoon of cinnamon, one of turmeric or curcuma, half of nutmeg, one of sweet smoked paprika, half of cardamom and one of ginger. For the whole ones. One spoon of cumin, one of black pepper, one of cilantro coriander seeds, and four to five cloves. Prepare a pan on medium heat. We will toast our whole spices. This way both the taste and aroma will intensify. Once the pan is hot, add the spices. Remove carefully from time to time to make sure they don't over toast. After four to five minutes, they should be ready. Now add the spices to the mortar and start grinding them. I have a stone mortar which has a rough surface that actually helps in the grinding process. It shouldn't take very long until you get a fine texture. And believe me guys, the smell is incredible. Now, time to mix all the spices. Put the freshly rounded ones in a bowl and add the rest. Mix everything properly to avoid having chunks. Look at the color of this. It looks and especially smells amazing. So, with our spices ready, let's go with the chicken. I have two chicken breasts, around 400 grams in total. We're gonna cut the chicken in dices or stripes, as you prefer. Try as far as possible that the pieces are of the same size. Put the chicken in a bowl after cutting it. Once finished, time for our marinade. We will add some olive oil to make sure that the spices impregnate all the pieces of chicken. Add now our Russell Hanout and use your hands to massage your chicken and properly mix everything. After this, we are going to put the chicken in a zipped bag and let it marinate for as long as we can. With a couple of hours it will already be great, but if you can leave it overnight, it is gonna be a bomb. The day after, before cooking the chicken, we will prepare the garnish. I'm gonna go for a simple one which I think pairs perfectly with the dish. Salted rice with zucchini and onion. Start cutting one big zucchini in dices. They can basically be as big as you want. Take into account that they will reduce because zucchini has a lot of water. Then, cut one medium onion also in dices. Time to go with this to a pan at medium low heat with some olive oil. We want to slow cook the veggies so they poach and caramelize a little bit. While this cooks, we are gonna take care of our rice. I will use basmati rice, around one small glass. I like to measure in glasses because this allows me to calculate the water very easily. First, I like to thoroughly wash the rice for a couple of minutes. This way it will lose some of the starch as well as some dirt it might have. After that, I directly put it in a pan and then to the heat and I add hot water in a ratio of 1.5 times the volume of rice. So, as I use one glass of rice, I will add one glass and a half of water. This is because by washing it, the rice already absorbs humidity. The rice shouldn't take very long, around 15 to 20 minutes. Once it is ready, put it in the pan with the zucchini and onion, which should be ready by now. I like to do this at high heat to salt the rice a bit. Reserve the garnish 
and let's go with the chicken. I will cook the chicken in sticks, so prepare a few wood or metal sticks. Start threading your chicken dices. If, as in my case, you have some dices which are too long, more like a stripe, you can stick them twice. It shouldn't take very long, and I know it sounds weird, but I find the process somehow pleasant. Anyway, I ended up with 6 sticks, which for 2 people is quite nice. Time for the final step, which is to cook the chicken. Put some olive oil in the pan at medium high heat and put your meat in. Make sure to flip them from time to time so they are evenly cooked on all sides. It might take a while, but you need to make sure that the chicken is properly cooked. At the end, they should have a nice brown color like this. And that is it, we are finished. Time to plate it nicely. Take some of your fluffy salted rice with veggies and put it on the base. Put on top of that two or three chicken sticks and you are done. Look at this wonder. Time to taste and enjoy. Come with me. Mm. Oh my god. This mix is the bomb. Somehow all the flavors, all the spices find their way into the mouth. It's bitter, sweet, savory, acid, a little bit spicy, everything at the same time. I've tried already many prepared Ras Al Harnoud, but it has nothing to do with house-made ones, so try it. Okay, my dear people, thanks for watching the video. If you could give me some love, please subscribe, give it a like, and if you cook this receipt, share in the comments the output. Until we meet again, let the taste be your guide and buen provecho.